成功の剣よ赤とか白とか黒とか消し去るべし<笑>みんなには内緒だよエックスカリバー痛いではないか Hey guys, what is going on? With the upcoming Saber Wars event,、uh, I know a few people have asked me to cover Mysterious Hero and X. Should you roll? Should you not roll? Is she a good servant? Is she a bad servant?、Um, I did a little bit of research and I wanted to do a review on this uh, servant uh, and kind of give you an idea of what it is that you're going to be getting. With this servant. Now, Mysterious Heroine X,、um, she's kind of a, a little bit of a special servant.、Um, her skill set is almost specifically meant、uh, to fight Saber Face servants.、Um, she's here for you know, the Saber Wars.、Um, she's really good against Sabers. Um, has a little bit of you know, things here and there to help you out throughout the event.、Um, by all means, not you know, a terrible assassin outside of the events,、um, but I'm going to get a little bit into like, her skills,、uh, what you can kind of expect out of her. If you don't have、uh, Jack the Ripper at the moment or the other, you know, any of the other good assassins, Uh, Mysterious Hero and X will definitely do a fantastic job for your team、uh, until some of the higher servants down the road.、Uh, currently on the Japan tier lists,、uh, she is slated as a B tier,、uh, B -tier assassin、uh, with only three other assassins ahead of her、um, in terms of you know, tier wise.、Um, in terms of waifu ability, Uh, Mysterious Hero and X definitely has the,、um, has the assets to be a, a very good waifu saber face.、Um, super cute,、uh, aesthetic outfit, stuff like that.、Uh, dual wields,、um, both、uh, normal and、uh, Excalibur Morgan、um, swords. So that's really cool and has a really fantastic looking. Noble Phantasm.、Uh, so, a couple of her pros are she's definitely a high critical star generation、uh, engine,、um, even though it's not as high as Jack the Ripper due to one less hit on her quick card.、Uh, it is still on par with other servants such as Okita,、um, Gilgamesh,、uh, and other ones. So, she's definitely a, a crit star generator. Um, and, and brings a lot to the table if you're trying to do,、um, if you're trying to do a quick、uh, a crit team.、Um, her NP、uh, is a star generation tool,、um, and it's, it's possible to use、um, her NP as a tool to generate large amounts of critical stars、uh, because A, it's a quick type and it has multiple hit. It's got quite a few hits.、Um, so that's really good. Um, usually, if you, it, you're going to get about 15 to 20 critical stars with overkill on that.、Um, and since you would want to use her on a quick team, that, that way you trade off raw damage output for a high critical rate,、uh, and damage dealt may be somewhat inconsistent、um, on that, but.、Uh, Her NP, even at level one, deals quite a lot of damage without any buffs, so it's,、uh, it's apparently comparable、uh, to Skahoff's NP. I'm not 100% sure、uh, how I feel about that、uh, or what the raw numbers are. I'm, I'm pretty sure I could look that, you know, I'll, I'll look that up at some point just to see if that、uh, is the case. But with pros, obviously, she's going to come with cons. Um, her skill set's hard to use.、Um, it's kind of mediocre.、Um, and we'll go over that. Let me, let me bring up her current skill set here.、Uh, so, as you can see, fire support is her first skill right out the gate.、Uh, you gain a delayed stun buff.、Uh, if present after attacking on the next turn, it has a chance to stun all enemies for one turn. Now, At first, you're like, oh, this could stun all enemies. 
after one turn, yeah, that's cool. But if you look at these numbers, at no point do you even get 100%. Uh, at rank 10, you get 80%, which is not something that I want to rely on. Um, I wouldn't use this as a, oh my goodness, they're going to, you know, wipe my team next turn, you know, or whatever. Let me use this to prevent that until I can get something, you know, pulled out of my rear end. Um, it is, uh, yes, yeah, so it never reaches a 100% success rate. Um, not only that, it triggers one turn later. So you're going to have to have some prep time on this. Um, so it, it's going to be a little hard to, a, hard, a little hard to use and a little hard to, um, uh, set up. Now her second skill, uh, instinct C, uh, pretty, pretty standard crit star generator, um, you know, super, super straightforward. Uh, it's not the best one in the game, but it's not that bad. Uh, now, for her third skill, Galaxy Meteor Sword. The attack and plus 50 star generation um, against Saber enemies. So... It's really nice to have, but like outside of the um, outside of the event, you're not really going to use this very often uh, because you're not going to really run into too many uh, too many saber faces um, in the game. Now, one of the other things that she has is uh, low survivability. Um, she doesn't have any evasion. She doesn't have any uh, invincibility in her skill set. Um, her stun is, you know, uh, a chance. It's a, so, um, she has a really hard time, uh, surviving in long battles without, um, any additional support from her party members. So, she, like I said, in Saber Wars, Mysterious Heroine X is going to, is going to shine outside of Saber Wars. She's just going to be another assassin. She's not going to be as good as Jack. She's not going to be as good as some of the other assassins that we will get down the road, but she won't be a slouch either. Um, so moving on from there, we have her passive skills, uh, which riding EX increases your quick, uh, quick cards by 12%, which is, you know, is really good. Um, and Cosmo Reactor, which increases your already large uh, critical star generation by 10%. So that's really good. Uh, really good passive skills on her. Uh, Noble Phantasm, Secret Caliber, uh, sort of unsigned victory. So this is an anti-unit quick card, has 12 hit count, uh, single target, uh, does a lot of damage, and does extra damage against um against saber face enemies so again secret wars wise she is going to just absolutely wreck saber face um outside of it again she'll just be a very normal uh decent but not phenomenal um assassin so at for her ascension uh we're looking at normal normal-ish amounts of stuff uh you're gonna need six total dragon wings eight plumes which aren't super hard to get uh i actually have a harder time getting dragon fangs uh than i do plumes and i, I tend to you know have them throughout events uh 36 proof of heroes but that shouldn't be that shouldn't be super hard to get at all for her skill enhancement materials, uh, as you can see, we're going to need more plumes. The 36 dragon fangs per 7 to 8 is brutal. And 24 octuplet crystals for 8 to 9 is is insane. I don't think I've, I've ever had 24 octuplet crystals. Um, so leveling her skills is going to be really brutal and to be completely honest i feel like i would get her 
and then use her just strictly for saber wars because like investing this much into a mediocre assassin uh, i just personally do not feel that it is you know in your best interest uh, do i think that you should roll for her um if you are very hype about um secret wars or is not secret wars that's marvel uh if you're really hype about saber wars if you're really hype about uh collecting saber faces and she's waifu 100 percent. i'm gonna roll for her because i really want to have that advantage during saber wars um if she didn't come with increased damage increased drops um, and all of that jazz for saber wars uh, i would probably let this one pass um she's she is waifu she is saber face uh so that does have a big bearing on it and i've really always kind of liked her um her outfit her aesthetic uh so i would be on the fence on this one uh saber wars aside so do i think that you should roll for her uh, it's a 50 50. it's it's not a you must have this like jack the ripper or uh waivers or when merlin drops or jean alter uh, those are you absolutely have to have these because they are some of the most powerful uh servants in the game gilgamesh stuff like that um people that once you get it you're not replacing them mysterious hero and x will be very situational um in the future if there's events where you know say like nero fest or something like that uh she would be good because you're going up against uh nero you're going up a saber face so she would be good against that uh but very very situational assassin if you need an assassin i wouldn't i would say you know roll for her uh because a five star assassin is better than no assassin uh but overall uh, I mean, it's it's your personal opinion on what you want. Uh, if you want to do good at, at Saber Wars, then I'd say roll for, uh, you know. But if you've already got a good team, then, you know, then great. But, uh, yeah, that's my review on her. Uh, situational at best, uh, but aesthetically pleasing. And she has a pretty cool noble phantasm. Uh, so yeah anyways guys that is my review a uh, little bit of overview of her skills uh ascension materials and stuff like that uh so if you liked this review um let me know down in the comments i want to do more uh reviews on upcoming servants or servants that are already out um and you know let you know whether or not you should be rolling on these things or what they bring to your team uh, stuff like that. So if you want to give me some comments down below on what you liked about this, what I could do better, um, absolutely let me know because I'm always trying to evolve the channel. I want to move, I want to have some stuff to do while I'm not literally throwing money in the trash on rolls. Uh, so I appreciate everyone sticking around and uh, I hope you like this review and I hope that you are as hype for Saber Wars as I am. Uh, I should be getting a guide together for Saber Wars in the next couple of days. Um, and then I'll get that up. And uh, hopefully that helps everybody out. So anyways, guys, as always, I am the Shotgun Shogun, and I will catch you next time. Peace.